Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video and this one we're a deep agent by Abacus AI and they have cooked guys deep agent can now create workflows very similar to N8N, but here's the thing, they add in an agentic layer. That's right, it is the best of N8N and AI agents combined and deep agent has it covered. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you, let's dig in. All right, so the first step, you wanna head over to their website, link in the description below, and here it is, guys. All you gotta do is just click on get started. Also, quickly here, I'll zoom in a little for you. Here it says, Abacus AI Deep Agent, a powerful general agent. Yes, it is, it's fantastic. But check this out, it's $10 per user build monthly. I mentioned that because that's less than half the price of ChatGPT and you get so much more, which I'm about to show you. So log in, let's go. All right, so here we go. We're logged in now to Deep Agent, and here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna close the sidebar here and this is what your screen should look like. Now, a couple quick things here. Inside Deep Agent, you've got some pre-activated or pre-built, I won't say templates, they're more like suggestions long prompts that you could click on and you can do all of these cool things. Stripe integrated websites, rag chatbots. I mean, we're talking live funding news, blockchain, PowerPoint presentations. I mean, go through them. They're all here. They are all fantastic. Also keep in mind, you can use those as idea generator. So, you know, you take the prompt, you change it up a little bit, but for this one, let's go ahead and cook up our own stuff here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy in this long prompt because what I want to show you is the workflow and we're going to break it down into separate steps now before i talk to you about this prompt i'm going to go to another tab here up here at the top left and i'm going to show you what we got here so on the left side you'll see here that i pumped in that prompt but on the right side this is where i want to show you here this is where the automation this is where the n8n type style the nodes come in so if i just zoom in here take a look at that here you'll see here i can move everything around I can scroll, I can just kind of pull this to the side and you'll see all the way, all the nodes here are labeled. You can adjust them as you see fit, as I'm doing here. And also, we'll, let's go to the right a little bit more. There we go, let's zoom out a bit here. All the way over here to the right side and also node configuration. So if you wanted to select one, like let's go ahead and select this one here. I don't know, take that one. Node configuration, there it is guys. So you can create a Google Sheet. You can do all sorts of crazy things. You get the source code, you can manage the inputs and outputs, and you can even do a lot more than that. So there you go. That's just a quick look at what we're gonna do here. But let's start from scratch here. So here we go. We've got a prompt. We have entered it into Deep Agent. I'm gonna hit the go button and I'm gonna talk to you about it while it processes its thing. All right, so here we are guys. Now I've got a nice prompt in here. So I'm gonna hit the go button, but while it cooks, think about this. Deep Agent can create workflows very similar to N8N, but like I said, it has that agentic layer. That's what separates Deep Agent from other AI agents, from other apps out there. It's crazy. And if you've used N8N, you know the value of a visual workflow builder. You know, triggers, nodes, branching logic, retries and integrations, all those things, guys. It's all doable here. This is a powerful mental model and it has automation as a graph. So with that said, keep that in the back of your head. Now, again, I hit the go button and before it goes any further, you'll see here that it needs to do a few clarifications. It's keeping the human in the loop, so to speak. So let's go ahead and answer the questions here. So knowledge base PDF, do you have a specific PDF file that should be used as the knowledge base? I'm gonna say no, but, and I'm just gonna go one no, but again, if you have one, you can attach it. It makes this a lot easier, but in this case, I'm just gonna leave it as is. What are the specific email addresses? I'm gonna go info at kingy.ai, which is my website. Of course, you could put in anything you want. Uh, do you wanna create a new Google Sheet? Yes, and let's just see what the next question is. Sender email, Curtis at kingy.ai, and then for the fifth question, I don't know, what would you like to name this workflow? Let's call it automation, something like that. Again, go nuts, add in anything you want. And if you don't have any answers, you can just say you choose. So keep that in the back of your head. You can just go ahead and say, hey, you pick for me. But here it is, while it cooks, here's what the prompt is. Let's go and zoom in a bit here. It says create a workflow in separate steps. Very important, this creates it in multiple steps. If you think about an AI agent, a lot of the issues with AI agents at the beginning was just trying to do everything all at once and if something goes wrong, well, the whole thing goes to heck. Well, in this case, you can do it in separate steps. Let's look at the steps. All right, welcome back. So I've gone ahead and run it, but real quickly here, the separate steps are, are very simple here. It first off, it collects customer names, emails, and questions. And then the second steps, it takes the questions and classify it as technical for error 
or bug mentions, billing for payment members, etc., etc., and it even goes ahead and determines if it was an urgent, an ASAP, or an emergency. The third step is it takes the questions and searches the knowledge base PDF. Of course, we let it create its own PDF. We did not attach one, but you can do that if you wish. The fourth step takes the search results and generate a friendly numbered response. Then it calculates a confidence score, and then it checks if the confidence score is below 70% or if it's urgent. So these are all multiple steps. And again, part of what AI, I would call an agentic AI workflow. It's pretty wild. Oh, and the seventh step is it adds a row to a new Google Sheet, which I'll show you in here. And then it sends an email to the appropriate team when required. I mean, crazy stuff. And then finally, guys, sorry, of course, it displays the response. So there we go. I'll just go down here. Now look at this here. It says, I'm creating the smart automation workflow with all the specified steps, including Gmail, Google Sheets integrations, et cetera, et cetera. I gave it access to my Google Drive. It, it asked me to authenticate it. And then here we go. It executes the code. You can go through it all the way. You can also click this copy button. So if there's any code, if you want to take the code as is, maybe you want to put it into your IDE of choice and make some changes to it or adjust it, feel free to do that. Go ahead. We'll just go down a little further here. Here is all the code. And then, of course, if you want to dig in further, it goes ahead and even shows you the questions like, hey, I'm getting an error message when I'm trying to log in. What should I do? Here's the answer. First, clear your browser cache and cookies. I mean, standard stuff here, guys, but just to be able to see it explicated like this, pretty cool stuff. Now, it did a ton of things, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip here to the bottom, but just know here that this is fully transparent as well. So, I mean, you can go ahead and copy it. You can dig in and take a look. So if something's wrong, you can type in here any updates or changes. I mean, change this from Python to React. I mean, you could just go ahead and type in things with natural language and make changes here. And then all the way down here, you could see it executed the workflow. Anyways, bottom line is it does incredible things here. It takes a few minutes to run all this. But at the end here, look at this here. Here are the workflow. It was created successfully. Data collection, question classification, knowledge base search, response generation. All the workflow steps that we asked for in our long prompt are done here on the right side. Let's go over here. Let's go ahead and close the left side here so you can see this a little better. Check this out here. You've got this cool node N8N type style. Look at this here. You'll see here. Okay. Let's go to the top here, data collection, primary. It goes down here, general response, knowledge base search, question classification. I mean, holy smokes, calculates the confidence score. And if you want to make changes to it, of course you can watch this. I'll just move this around here just to make it look a little prettier. Pull this down so we've got a little more room. I mean, guys, this is absolutely unbelievable what you can do here. On the right side, you can even start asking AI. You have your own built-in AI prompt here, your own quasi AI agent. Pull the source code down. You can go ahead and update it if you want to make some changes. You can manage the inputs and outputs and check this out. You can even test the workflow to make sure it works. So, you know, a lot of AI agents in the past and maybe other ones, you know, it looks good, but there's always a mistake. You can test it right here. Here's your question, answer your name, your email, bam, hit the go button, submit button and it's done. So guys, I mean, what else can I say? It is in Deep Agent. Deep Agent is amazing, guys. I use it for so many different things. It's worth a look. Click the link. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.